Welcome back. Our live coverage of the Race for the Cure continues here on WTOL 11. My name is Jeff Smith. Glad to see you once again this morning. We are down here at the start line, and I want to introduce you to somebody who has been bouncing around the Midwest region for the last couple of weeks. Barb Ducharme, she is joining me now, Regional Vice President with Susan G. Komen. Barb, it's such a pleasure to meet you, but I, I do have to ask, as we were talking here before we came out today, you were telling me about, you were hearing some of these survivor stories yeah. that are being said this morning. That gets played out again and again and again. How, how do you kind of filter all of that through this? You know, it does get played out over and over, but, but what you always have to remember is that there's so many stories of hope as well. So yes, we have lost people to breast cancer and it's very hard, but we all know at, at Susan G. Komen that there are people alive today who are living better lives because of the work we do day in, day out. So it's hard to sometimes hear the stories. I, I was telling you earlier that we had a story of a, a gentleman who is volunteering here today whose wife of 45 years died last year. And so that is hard to hear, but we also have- but there was something else about that story. Yeah, you said about his donation. He gave a donation of $100 for every year they were married. And so, um, so it was important to him to give back. It is important for us to honor these people who give back, but it's also really important for us to keep fighting because we don't want stories like that. We want people to be able to live, as I said, healthier lives and longer lives. So. I would say it's like everything in life, it's a mixed blessing, but knowing that we are helping people every day is really important to us and keeps us going. You, you've got many hats that you have to wear. You said you get about 150 emails a day as far as the business side of things is concerned, but from the human side of things, and that is what today is really about. It is, and, and I will tell you, it's very energizing for us to even just be with people who are, are living this disease every day. You know, we all get back to our offices and have 150 emails and texts and all, but these are the kinds of things that energize us, that we can come out and be among people who are thanking us, who don't even know us, but thanking us for what we do. That's pretty powerful. I, I, I gotta ask you one more thing before we go over to uh, Madeline Watkins, who is over by Fifth Third Field. Ask you really quick, because one of the things that I think uh, Gretchen Awad has kind of hung her hat on is the fact that this race is happening today. And yep. uh, we were very lucky, she said, fingers crossed, that this was gonna happen, because there are some races around the country that didn't come back. Well, some did not, but I would say in this next September, October, we have about 40 of them across the country. And uh, I think we have about 15 in the Midwest, so I'm like a little pinball bouncing around. But um, yeah, we had, we have, um, we've it's a recovered. Good time for the commitment it, it as is. far as the Toledo region. Yes. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and Gretchen does just a fantastic job and so proud of her because she has really, the volunteers we have, I will tell you, Toledo, we have a better, stronger group of volunteers here than I have seen across the Midwest so far this well, that's year. That's a testament to all the hard work that yeah. they've done here. Barb, pleasure meeting you. Yes, Thank you, you so you much. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate having you as a partner. Thank absolutely, you. absolutely. We enjoy it and for uh, obviously 29 years strong for this race here today. So, Barb, Next keep year, it. It's the that's right, that's right. Keep it going.